now going to review the Boba Toddler Carrier. It is for toddlers that are 15 to 45 pounds, and that's roughly like one to four years old. And it has a really high back on the carrier to keep the center of gravity towards you to make it a lot more comfortable. So I'm going to show you how to put it on. It's got this thick waist belt. I'm going to do the front carry first. So you take the waist, put it at the top of your hips like this, and then you buckle it in, and then you can take these two things and, you know, tighten it where it needs to be. And you have these dangling like this. So once you have it like this, snug on your hips, you grab your toddler. Take him. It sounds like a car. Put one, put one strap up, the other one up. So he goes in really quickly. Tighten these from pulling away from you like this. And then you've got to grab, this is the tricky part, I've found. Is it done? Yep. Perfect. And then you take it and then you... I down. Oh, you know, you Tighten up like this. <laughs> Okay, so now he's in, and as you can see, he's seated in a nice, deep, seated position. His legs are in a 90 degree angle, and as you can see, the back comes up to this really high, which is really nice for older toddler babies so that they can't arch out of the carrier, and that it keeps them closer to you, which um, makes the carrier a lot more comfortable on you. And so you can see I have my straps like right inside my shoulders here. And it's nice and comfortable. He's nice and against me. And so it looks like in the back. And it's really, really comfortable. And great sleep. The boba comes with a de detachable sleeping hood, so if you don't want to use it, you can take it off. If you do want to use it, you can buckle it, you can snap it on. So it just snaps on. And Dayton likes to pretend like you're sleeping, don't you? You like to pretend like you're sleeping. Okay, so I have the, I put the hood on, and what you do is you just bring this up. If they're sleeping, Jaden's not going to want to put his head down right now. But you just lift this up, and they buckle right on each side like this. He doesn't want me to do it, but you get the idea. Just goes up and buckles. And then if you don't want it, you can completely snap it off. Here, are you taking another picture? Okay. And if you do, if you use it a lot and you want to keep it on here, you can roll it up. And then there's things to put it on to keep it rolled up nicely if you want to do that. And also, the really cool thing about this carrier, which sets it apart from all the others, is they have foot straps that you can put their feet in. Foot straps you can put your feet in, which are on each side. They're detachable if you don't want to use them. And what you do is you put your, their feet in here. Put their feet in a 90 degree angle, tighten it up, and that gives them foot support. Jaden doesn't like it so he's going to fight me on it, but it keeps their feet in the perfect 90 degree angle which is good for babies that have longer legs and they need that extra leg support to keep their pelvis, hips, and spine aligned in the healthiest seated position. Unfortunately, oh our God. other our other foot strap is missing so I can't show you, but of course there's one on each side and it keeps their feet in this nice frog-like 90 degree angle and if you don't want to use them Jaden does not like them they're detachable so you can take them off all right and now I'm going to show you the back position but as you can see this is so comfortable it's very very comfortable and it's just like kind of like wearing a back all right so now I'm going to show you guys the back carry so you take this strap again you put it on your waist you buckle it and you buckle it and then you tighten up 
so it fits you well. Another good thing about the boba is it has these little things right here so that you can roll these up like so. Mommy! And then put the strap around it so that you don't have all these straps hanging everywhere. So, and this is what I like to do because I think it makes it look better. So there we go, that makes it look a little better. And then you need to grab your toddler. Come on, Jaden. Ready to get my back? Let's go, let's get on Mama's back. So this is how I do it. I kind of just put him on my hip and then scoot him over. each one of these and I pull tight and then do this strap tighten up so I have this kind of just below my collarbone And then these roll up too. There's one rolled up. So I'm roll the other one up. But as you can see, he's not, the back is nice and high. To go. And if if you have a carrier um, adjusted just right, you should it shouldn't hurt. It should feel just kind of like wearing a backpack. It's really comfortable. And like I said, you can also use the foot straps to keep his feet like this, but Jaden doesn't like them, so I don't use them. You can also use the hood. You would just reach up behind you, grab it, and snap it on to here. And I think the classic carrier, which is the one I have, is about $100, and the organic carriers are $128. So they're really comfortable, really, really well made. And it's so comfortable to wear. Like I said, it's great for older babies. And um, I'll put a link right here to their website. And it'll give you all the whole description of the carrier. And they even have a chart where they compare the, er the Ergo carrier to the Boba. To see, you know, what the differences are. And ultimately, if you have a taller, bigger baby, the Boba is going to be what you want because of the high back. All right, so here's Thomas putting it on. I just wanted to show you how big the waist gets. I'm talking, it gets huge, so it should fit most adults. Thomas is a big guy, and he can still wear uh, Jaden in it, so. So when we are out and about, and if Jaden wants to go out and in of the carrier, which he often does, I'll just keep it strapped on my hips like this and kind of just let it dangle, because it's not touching the floor or anything. And I just keep it on like this until he's ready to get back in it. That way I'm not taking it on and off and I don't have to worry about carrying it. It's just right on my hips like this. So Boba does front carry and back carry. They don't do hip carries because they don't um, think that um, putting the baby on your hip like throws off your center of gravity, which isn't the best thing for the wear. And also they do not do carries facing out because it is not really safe for the baby. It doesn't keep their hips, pelvis, and spine all aligned like they need to be so and there's my review